So personally, um, technologist, um, did about 10 years of robotics, machine vision, neural nets, um, then built an automated music composition tool with some friends, made really good music, made really bad music, um, got more conventional, um, so software consultant for quite a while. So basically software engineer in different niches. Um, uh, spent a little time at Goldman Sachs towards the end of that aspect of my career and was really just on the IT side of private wealth management. And uh, when I left there, a friend of mine um, was managing money for a wealthy family with um, novel strategies and doing very well. And they were trying to cut him, cut his percentage down. He's like, no. <laughs> um, and, and so uh, uh, he asked me if I would help him build back office and we ended up running a, a hedge fund or a set of hedge funds for a little while and uh, doing reasonably well. And so I was kind of trading and building trading strategies and uh, um, getting increasingly disappointed and disillusioned with uh, the structure of the world and the structure of the economy. And uh, uh, it was a couple of years before the financial crisis and just... Um, a little bit before the financial crisis basically stopped trading because I was tired of just doing the risk on risk off trade uh, that didn't make sense the fundamentals weren't really working so kind of checked out um, and did stuff lived in Jamaica for a little while and um, was appreciative I wasn't an occupier um, but I was appreciative of the people who were occupying everything trying to get the word out that uh, that things were awry um, in economies and uh, and um, so uh, essentially early 2011 I read the Bitcoin white paper I read slash dot pretty religiously and saw some references but didn't jump into it until then and when I read it, it, it was clear to me that we could stop occupying things and just start building uh, alternative or adjacent infrastructure and uh, um, grow our way uh, or build alternative systems with better foundations and uh, uh, let the um, legacy world do what it's going to do, which I thought was either going to be a slow cascading collapse over a couple decades or rapid nonlinear contagion that wouldn't, wouldn't be so good. But um, uh, so there were two scenarios or a couple scenarios that I thought could get us out of that. One was free energy or instantaneous teleportation, like big, big things. Um, and it turned out that blockchain came along and it's not as big a thing, but uh, um, it provided us with a, a different path forward. So essentially changing the nature of trust on the planet, uh, guaranteeing execution of uh, agreements or laws, regulations, etc. That's, that's a pretty big thing. And so, um, <laughs> so uh, um, roughly three years later, I'm from Toronto, Vitalik's from Toronto. Uh, I pretty much always go back over Christmas to um, hang with my family and met up with Vitalik there uh, at a meetup. Uh, and uh, read the white paper that night and um, similar to my Bitcoin moment where I thought this would enable us to change everything. Um, I thought that Vitalik's vision was scalable in, in the sense of human action where uh, instead of protocol priests building new opcodes in at the protocol layer of, of these different systems that we were looking at, which was going to be unscalable uh, for all the world's use cases, a clean separation of the protocol layer from the application layer would enable millions of entrepreneurs and software uh, engineers around the world to identify their own problems and build their own solutions. And so uh, I stayed, it was about a month into, a month after he'd written the white paper, I stayed close to the project for the next two or three weeks. We all gathered in a house in Miami for a week in advance of the North American Bitcoin conference and Vitalik announced the paper and we basically formed the project there. Uh, a year later, we're getting close to releasing version one of the platform and there aren't, aren't too many people building at the application layer. So started consensus to basically continue the vision of the Ethereum project.